Cone Bonois, good evening, Pathless. It is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to Enderall Forgotten Stories, the Skyrim conversion mod. Enderall Forgotten Stories, we are currently working on uh, Apotheosis Part 2. So we uh, are in the generator room, or we're supposed to be going to the generator room. Um, Dal Terowin, artist, inventor, and builder of the Centurion Horst hired me f for a second time. This time I was supposed to work together with his assistant, uh, Pathira, which that's how they say it, even though I would say Pathira, um, but that's, he calls her Pathira, to retrieve a sort of rare starling energy crystal for him. He assumes that we can find one in Agnod, a huge starling ship which crashed into the Frostcliff Mountains in Enderal centuries ago. Pathira wants to meet me in the generator room of the ship. So we spent the entire uh, previous episode accidentally, <laughs> yes, accidentally arriving here. They're queerly, queerly? Sure, could be queerly. I meant to say clearly, but <laughs> they are uh, clearly reusing the dwarven uh, architecture from Skyrim for this particular location, but with lost lots of uh, frosty icicles. So I have no idea what to expect in here. We're going to try to do Apotheosis, and then we do have to go back to uh, Narim. I almost said Erothen. That's That would be... Uh, I still I still said <laughs> I still said the wrong thing. <laughs> Ark. Ark. I got, uh, I got Narim in, in my brain, I guess. Um, yeah, we have to go back to Ark to turn in this, and to turn in this, and... I don't exactly. Oh, Esme is outside the uh, that one in, so we can go back to her as well. So there's lots of like going back to, and then yeah, I should probably continue the main storyline. I I'm sorry it's taken me so long to do that. This is a a problem that I have a lot in general with games. Is I I love side quests, <laughs> and I have a bad habit of ignoring the main quest for as long as possible and completing as many side quests. I think that's because... Oh, okay. No. Go away, Icy. Oh my god, there's a whole army of them. What? Go away. No one likes you. Is that everybody? Holy Jesus. Give me some frost salts or whatever they're called here. Frost, still frost salts. I like how they changed so many things and then, like, randomly other things. They were just like, meh, they could stay frost salts. That's fine. I don't know what else they would call it. Frost dust, frosty flakes, you know. There's, <laughs> yeah, they're going to change it to something. If you're new to the channel, those are Roshko and Agajimas. If you're new to the series, those are Jimmy And if you are regular, like Mrs. Voice, like a Lewin. Like possibly in the future, Oogly Boogly, like Teresa, like Durander Da, though he's mainly watching the rim. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I forgot what I was saying, of course. Uh, but if you are a regular, I think that's where, <laughs> where I was going. Uh, Okai Rina Sai, welcome back. Welcome home. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I guess I can put my hands away now. Yeah, nobody. Nobody ever calls me, and that's fine. I uh, I kind of like that, unless it's an emergency. Uh, fireball rank four. Pretty sure I already have that. But that was my uh, my mother calling. My mother is um, again. I, I'm always honest. Like I guess that's like I should do almost like a, a warning. <laughs> At the beginning of the videos, as part of my intro, it's like, "Hey, I share, I, I, I overshare. I'm a TMI guy. Like, I, I don't, I don't care. That's part of my personality. That's exactly how I am in real life. How I talk during an episode is exactly how I talk if we met. So this, you know, this is me. Uh, this is the way that I am. I just picked up something. I picked it up so quick. I'm not sure what I just picked up." like a book of some sort. All right, I'll go into the books and take take a quick peek. But yes, my mother is um, mentally 
mentally ill. She's uh, medicated. Um, I do not live with her. I know, surprising, right? Dude that plays video games doesn't live with his mom. I don't live in her basement. I know, I have my own house. And it's paid for and everything. No mortgage. Amazing. Um, so whenever she calls, I... I, it's a good idea for me to take the phone call because it's probably her freaking out over something that she doesn't need to be freaking out over, which is exactly what it was. Oh, I think I hear a little, little, uh, spider dudes. Okay, here we go. Let them come. Oh, okay, you got to me faster than I expected. Okay. You're a wee bit tankier than I expected, too. Nope. Oh my gosh. Okay, spiders are jumping. Okay. I went. Alright, there's a lot of spiders. Oh my gosh. And apparently they... Oh wait. They're getting, uh... Well, I probably can't freeze these dudes anyway. I was like, oh, I'm forgetting my, uh... My, my freezing spell. Oh my god, this is a lot of spiders. Please blow up. Thank you. I want to run out of backing up space. Sorry, right, don't ever... <laughs> if you're going to come here, uh, be ready. Because, holy Jesus. They're not going to have anything. No, they don't drop diddle or squat. Okay, that's fine. I don't need more stuff and things. Alright, that was, that was intense. That was a lot of uh, spiders all at once. All right, so I, because as always, I'm not following where it wants me to go. I wanted to come down here and see what was down here. And I mean, it is dark. Now, just a reminder, I do have. That was like the whole like what first five. It might have even been more than five episodes where I went through and I was trying desperately to find something to light light an area up. Alright, so let's let, use this as an example. I'm going to take off the mod for the lantern just for a second. Or two. It helps if I go to the right place. Uh, magic lantern. <laughs> this is this is what this area looks like. Now this is playable. It's playable. I've seen darker. This is playable, but I know for you, this is gonna be almost impossible to see. Yeah, one on one, not as much of a problem. All right, we're gonna put the lantern back on, but just it's it's been a while since I reminded. Uh, how I mean the radius of the lanterns not that far so all right this area is very mazy too like, I don't know if I should keep going I mean probably not I should probably just go talk to Pathira but why is there all right this is a big area I see them dwarven he heads oh I see the ball again can I freeze the ball ha! No. Two hands, please. Wait, why are, why are we not two-handing it? Oh, boy. Yeah, they're stuck for some reason. That works for me. No, 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 no. No, go away. Have a night-night. All right, he's still stuck. All right, that's kind of... Embarrassing. Oh, I got a kill animation. It's, it's been a long time. I, I still think it looks pretty dope. When we get the kill animations. But yeah, I... I, <laughs> I had some, uh... Construction... Construction... Oh my god. Construction? Sure, I had some, some, some construction on my brain, apparently, since I, it's affecting my, uh... My verbal skills. I had some constructive criticism. Um, oh, I forgot spells uh, for one of my one of my older series and I'm probably worse now than I was in the older series and the, uh, the criticism was that I talk too much 
uh, about things that are not the game that I'm playing. And I would agree. I feel like that's a completely valid observation. Ooh, okay. One book I don't have. I mean, that even in itself is exciting to me because I like picking up new things. All right, let's put... What am I even using now? I'm still using grounding six. I mean, I have, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with grounding. We've tried switching and grounding for the most part works. There's those dwarven heads. This is reminding me of uh, the Skyrim modded series that I'm doing, Interesting, Immersive, and Forgotten, because Forgotten City is all about a dwarven city that was forgotten, thus why it's... <laughs> all right, so this is to a new area. I don't want to go to a new area. I just wanted to get, like, the layout of this general area before we... And it's just, it's massive. Hands out. I can't remember. Did we finally get quiet casting? I wish there was a way. Is there a way? I guess it would be in here, right? Or I have to go to the uh, other place. Now, I guess I have to go to the other place. I don't even know what to call that. When I meditate, where I go to, where I go to level my stuff. Speaking of which. I am all leveled right now. I totally, I totally still have points. I thought I did all the points. And I'm about to level again. Okay. That's not a bad thing. But yes, I do overshare. I do talk. Alright, I just went around in a circle. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good because it's not getting, the area's not getting any bigger. Can I zoom out? Thank you. I love Skyrim maps. I know I talk about my love for the map probably weirdly, <laughs> weirdly often, but uh, since I play so much Fallout 4 mods, it's very frustrating how terrible the maps are. I just can't make heads or tails of them half the time. They don't, like, like, like immediately, like, I just want to zoom out. Like, this, like, how could you not understand this? Like, these are the doors that I just found. This is where I came in. You you came in, you went, like... But this... The, the Fallout 4... <laughs> Again, I talk about it all the time. People were probably so sick of me bringing that up. But it just... It boggles my mind. It bogg I have no idea. I'm curious what Starfield... Here's somebody. Well, this might seem weird. I'm going to start shooting ahead of time. I don't know where he's, where they're going to come from. Or both sides. They're coming at me from both sides. No, 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 no. More, oh, so it's a more spider. Uh oh No, no, no. We got the pirate music going on. Arr, me. Shiver me timbers. This be the curse of the Black Pearl. Is that all of them? So yeah, I know that that makes my channel even more niche -y. We are over 300 subscribers. We didn't get there for my birthday. That's okay. We got there after my birthday and then kind of shot right past it. It's 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 weird how that works. You know, like I, it will sit like I always it always it always I always gain subscribers in like groups in bunches. Like I was at 297 for what felt like forever, and I was hoping to get to 300, I was like, oh, you know, th that's only three more people. That's not, that's not that much, and we had like a whole week to do it. And no, it didn't, didn't happen. It's okay, you know, it's, it's fine. Nothing to cry about, and then all of a sudden, now I'm at 306. So, volume five. I don't, it's weird that I'm picking up multiples, but not, 
I still didn't read volume 6, but not still not volume 7, which is the one that I need. I needed volume 6 for the longest time, and then I finally picked up volume 6. Okay. More spiders. They love spiders. And there's another one coming. Oh no! Oh no! Centurion, alright, they're still called Centurion, but they're Starling Centurion instead of a... Right, he's stuck. They, um... I guess the icicles were making him st stuck? They really didn't, uh... That's the second time... Oh my god, this place is so big. Second time pathing has caused an enemy not to be able to get to me. Know if they realize that they did that please be another section so I can yeah okay wait uh, okay so we're probably gonna be going there eventually and I do have the master scrolls with me to cast a spell to get in there but yeah it's with the way that I play you know the chill laid back just kind of talking to you like we're friends I don't know I don't know any other way to do it I would feel really uh, fake if I was just trying to, I don't know, do it. <laughs> I would feel like I was doing a bit or doing a character or something like that. I wouldn't feel authentic. This is me. 306 people like me enough to subscribe um, with the amount of, uh, all right, so now we've, again, we've gone around in a circle with the amount of. views that I've had on my channel a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people do not like what they've heard and that's understandable I I get it and I'll stop talking about that for now because I, in my head I'm going oh my god pro you know talking about people not wanting to hear what I'm rambling about so it looks like there's we've noticed this before yes okay so this caved in there was something over here but there's no way to get to it and there might not actually be anything over there that's worth checking out. Alright, so we've checked out this whole layout. So now let's go talk to Bathira and see where we are going next. She's uh, still not sure if she's a big fan of ours at all. Doesn't really seem like it. But we've already took out all of the resistance. Was that a shield of resistance? That was funny. As I said resistance, then I, I saw a shield of resistance. Let me go in and use that book. Or any of the books that do not done. Because I'm always afraid I'm going to forget to use it. And whatever that other thing was that we picked up. It doesn't say something wasn't read, so it must have been something we've we've already read previously. Yeah, the other thing that I was saying in regards to side quests, and Eluin had already uh, attempted to alleviate my fears on that. Is I'm always afraid like I'm going to miss something or not be able to finish something. Okay, well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I uh, I think I have enough. How many masters? I have four. Okay, that's not a ton. Not a ton, but should be enough. Let's put my spell back on. And so we are going into the crevasse. The crevasse. Or crevice. Whichever whichever you prefer. Crevasses. Sounds funny. Alright, this looks like we're going outside. Okay. I mean a crevasse does sort of imply outside. The skeleton's not really making me feel super comfortable about... Is it from you? No, you're a queen. Slay, queen. Slay. Alright. So we went from robot spiders to... Oh man, you guys have been busy. 
busy. Making sure none are going to drop out of the ceiling like in Skyrim. Bitter brandy. Never had brandy before. Don't really drink, as I've mentioned many times. I'm not against drinking. I do generally use the term straight edge to describe myself, which most people, when they hear that, like most people that are straight straight edge are kind of like obnoxiously straight edge, like, like vegans. Like, I do, I do what I do. I have my reasons for doing what I do. I, 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 don't, I don't care what you do. I feel like that's just a pretty good general life philosophy. <laughs> like, you do you. I'll do me. As long as whatever you're doing isn't going to harm me, uh, ain't none of my business. Talking about new subscribers, though. I can tie that into a new subscriber, though. She's she's never gonna listen to <laughs> she's never gonna listen to this. Um, one of one of my new subscribers is uh, a young lady. Young lady, she's the same age as me. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it though. The young lady named Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Oh my God, another one. Listen, Pathera, why did you not unlock the doors for me? That's not where I want to go. Silly goose. I hope I have enough of these to do this. I only have three more. And it's not like they're giving them to me. Yeah, she gave me a, a sub. Because I was asking for subs. So she was nice enough to do that. And I appreciate that. But uh, I've known her since high school. I actually... Uh, Shh, don't tell anyone. We we kissed like twice. Uh oh. Okay. The mechanist? What are we in Fallout? This is not the mechanist I know. We got some improved armor here, mechanist. Alright, please have some cool stuff, please. Thank you. Uh, Scrag, Helmet, Roger, Mage, Frost, Wrath, Key of Agnog's Mechanist. Got some lube. It's always good to have. Okay. Where? It wants me to go back that way? Not ahead? All right, what do we got? We got switch. We got levers. Am I going down? Where am I going? Oh. Okay. <laughs> there is a what appears. Oh, there's oil on the ground. Massive area beneath us. Holy Moses! This looks maybe looks are deceiving. But uh, Emery. Uh, Recently had uh, again somebody I care about, somebody I've known for a very, very yeah you know, we're talking about decades, a uh, long time. And recently had some issues with uh, drinking that ended uh, her up having some health issues, and I was um, I was upset with her about that. And again, that, that might seem like it goes against my whole you do you type of thing, but. Alright, so this goes to another area of machine rooms. Well, when you're getting to the point that you're hurting yourself as a friend, I felt somewhat justified in being upset. Okay, so is this a puzzle? Why is there so many switches? This is clearly an elevator to go down. I guess we just... They're all to the left. So we're just going to start... That didn't work. All right, well, here, here we go, I guess. Is there floors? Or are we just going straight down? Looks like we're going straight down. Okay, we saw there were spiders here. Yeah, speaking of which, there's one. 
on the other. Well, I guess I gotta open up this gate to murder him. Right in my face. So I guess I should say generally. As long as whatever you're doing doesn't affect me. It ain't none of my business and I don't care. But if you're a friend and you're hurting yourself. I'll probably be upset. Then we'll leave it at that. Alright, there's still more down. Okay, so yeah, this is not... But it doesn't look like this goes down anymore. So there must be something else to go down further? I, I guess? I mean, I could just fall, but... <laughs> let's not... Let's not do that just yet. But anyway, thank you for the subscription, Anne Marie. I know you're never gonna watch any of my stuff, and that's that's fine. <laughs> I appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, some other new subscribers: Robbie Burns, Sergio Chan, Gage Bolin, Arthur Chiz. No idea what any of you are watching, but if it happens to be Enderall Forgotten Stories, thank you so very much. All right, this is. Another elevator? Uh-oh. Right, that maybe wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. I just I just jumped down. And <laughs> uh Okay, so don't just jump down into the elevator. Cause I mean, you know how I'm gonna fix it, but still, like, what the... Help! I'm stuck in this elevator and I don't know how to climb! Okay. Weird. I don't know why they would... ...have it so that way if you drop down, you're stuck. But, that's how they had it. It doesn't even look like it's that far, but it's far enough. I mean, that's literally it, right? There's nothing else. I mean, it looks like I can go up. There has been jumping involved already in this place, so is there more? Is there going to be more, like, jumping? Are we, are we doing a platformer all of a sudden? Because, again, it looks like I can hip-hop. Maybe not directly onto there, but... You know I'm going to end up falling. Seriously? Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't even know if I could go up that incline. Is there an invisible wall here? What am I... What am, am I hitting the icicle? What am I hitting? Nope. I'm getting it. It looks like that these are here because they're like saying, hey, jump over onto this. Okay, that worked. Yeah, this incline. I mean, if you're stubborn, maybe. We're like right there. Nope. Weird. Oh my god, I feel like I jumped even further, but this incline doesn't look as steep as this incline. But yeah, I guess I'm still technically not. And that's it. Like, wait! I mean, again, it looks like... How, ma how much... How many... <laughs> how much time do I spend in an episode doing nonsense like this? And again, there's probably no reason to get up to that ledge. But it totally looks like there's a ledge to get up to. Let's try this one. Alright. I almost... Or I didn't make it all the way on here. 
Okay. Why can't I make that jump? I mean, I'm literally supposed to be going right down. I, I don't even know. It looks like the quest marker is floating in the air. Alright, well, I said I was going to fall. And, uh... Yep. So you don't want to fall. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, if you fall, you're done. So make sure you drop a save when you're, uh... When you're up. Can I go inside this thing? Yeah, it looks like I can, but there's no reason to. Okay, let's... Let's go back up to where we were. Alright, where, where am I now? Am I up... No, I'm still not up high enough. There's some sort of wibble-jibble ball down there. Alright, is this where... How far did I fall? This is it, right? Yeah. So I was just trying to figure out how to get to this ledge. So just for fun, we'll drop down on this ledge. I don't think there was any, again, reason to get up here other than me trying to do something that doesn't need to be done. But we'll run the run the gauntlet real quick around. See if there's something up here that I'm missing. I feel like I got close and then I can't even fit through that, that icicle blocking me. I'm being icicle blocked. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, I'm only, I was only even considering this as a possibility because there was already the other jumping. And then this just goes around. Okay. So we know, know that there's not really anything to do here. Let's go flip that <laughs> switch. I'm all discombobulated now. And see what happens with the elevator. Because... We obviously need to go down further. Well, how, how does that help anything? <laughs> what the hell? How does that help anything? Oh, okay, wait, what? And she's just down, she's down here. You left all the doors locked. Are you serious, bro? Well, well. You sure did take your time, didn't you? You left all the doors so, locked! are you ready? The energy core is, as expected, still intact. But we'll need some cleverness to get to it. You didn't say you were going to deactivate... Didn't, didn't you say you were going to deactivate the defense mechanisms? They seemed pretty active to me. I said I'll see what I can do. And that I did. I deactivated most of the traps, and if I hadn't done that, you probably wouldn't be here anymore. As for those Centurions, nothing I can do about them. Sorry. Sorry, I killed them all. This thing is colossal, any idea as to why it crashed? Well, I can only speculate, but stalling technology is as genial as it is complex. They say that building Agnog took about seven decades, and then, phew, just like that, a misplaced cog and the whole thing goes to shit. Must have been pretty frustrating for the engineers. So it's interesting the parallels between what I'm doing in this quest and what I'm doing in, or what I was doing in the last episode in the Rim, because I was at the Nautilus docks where there was these like Starling airships. So there's um, some parallels between uh, the stories. I mean, it, I know, I know there should be because. <laughs> it's the story before it, but I just think it's funny that it just happens to be that um, the two episodes are loosely related to each other. That's all. Fine. Now how do we get to this core? That's pretty easy. Well, that is if you know what you're doing. I, do, I don't. We need to deactivate the energy current that surrounds the core. If we don't do that, anyone who touches the core will be turned to roast beef in mm, seconds. Roast beef. So, this is what we'll do. You open the valves, and I control the flushing of energy. There are four valves in total. Open them all. What is it? Open the valves. D dude, you just said it. Relax. I'm going to take all this stuff. Take... Well, I guess I can't take all the stuff. I'm going to take whatever stuff I can first. Okay, opening the valves sounds easy. I don't know if I trust you. There's the wibble. 
that we that we dropped right past down into the hole. I wonder. If, <laughs> it, would, it would be funny if they had put some dialogue in for her to say, "Did did, did I see you fall by?" All right. I'm expecting enemies to come out. Cause that just seems like something that would happen once I turn all these wibbles. Wibble jibble. Okay, here's the last one. I kind of picked this one because I can kind of like look right at. Yeah, very good. That did the trick. Now, take the call. Oh, I, th I thought. I don't. I don't know what just happened. Oh, okay. It um. It's controlling me. I'm not controlling it. So me jumping, <laughs> like I did, seemed to confuse it for a second or two. Okay. Ouch! That must have hurt, didn't it? Sorry, this isn't personal. But I saw how you can fight, and with what I plan to do, I can't afford any extra risks. There's no way I can let that old fool have the machine. It is a masterpiece, probably the greatest Starling achievement since they built the ship. And what does he do? He calls it Horst and treats it like a bloody pet. Why the heck do geniuses always need to be lunatics as well? Dal Terrowing is a dumb fine tinkerer, but he doesn't even remotely understand the potential of this apotheosis. He sees the Centurion as some kind of crutch with which he can prolong his life. That's just pathetic. Ah, immortality. Just think what you could do with it in the right hands. I will lead my people, the Starlings, back to their old glory. It's for the greater good. I'm sorry. Okay. What's happening? Oh, she's teleporting. And this entire place is... It's got the tummy grumbles. Am I allowed to have control of my character again? Completed removed generator's cores. Escape the generator room and inform Uri of Pafira's betrayal. All right, but hold on. What? Glacier is melting. I need to get out of here. Okay. Um. But I I hadn't finished exploring. <laughs> Um, okay, those other areas, does that mean that that's it, I'm, I'm done, I can't explore those other areas, or, if so, that's kind of a bummer. Um, are you going to take me all the way back up, or no? Okay, we're, we're still rising. We're still rising, we're still rising. This reminds me of that uh the Falmer Eye thing in in Skyrim where they the, where you have to escape where the wood when the water's rising. I'm just gonna have a swim swim. Where is it? I was say I feel like the water keeps like taking breaks <laughs> can we please finish uh, raising all the way up <laughs> Are we still raising no that's it this is where we stop so I'm supposed to use the elevator again No, that didn't. That didn't work. Uh. Huh. Where is it telling me to go? All right, all the way, all the way up there. Okay. So I'm using this elevator then. I gotta use one of the elevators. Send me back up. 
Thank you. So we got betrayed, and she said she's a starling. I didn't think they existed anymore. She kind of looked like an Eterna. But the Eterna and the starlings fought each other, right? So, but they looked similar? I don't know. I'm confused. All right, so it wants me to leave, leave, but we didn't, there was other areas we didn't explore. So again, that's like my whole like fear thing is, so if I don't explore these other areas, we might be missing something really cool. So we're not gonna leave until we explore those other areas. Can't believe she betrayed me, what the heck? Yeah, I don't think I took time to appreciate how cool this looked as I, as I walked by initially. All right, centurions are out. So did she even want me to uh, to get to her? Is that why the doors were? I mean, at least that makes more sense why the doors and stuff were locked. Where am I, by the way? This is I'm in a new area. How did I end up? I don't know. This is the opposite of where they wanted us to go, so. Yeah, so I didn't take time to, uh, uh, oops, excuse me, to observe that uh, thing in the other room because I had not been in that room. <laughs> Guess I got a little turned around. I thought I was going back the way I came, but instead went to a new area, which is fine because I wanted to explore the new areas. Out of chest. And this is exactly where I look. There's gonna be magical, wonderful things in here. I mean, not really, but. We don't know until we look. And exploring. Learning the story. That's what we're here to do. Alright, why why an up? What's what's the point of this? It's just, I guess it was maybe a way to avoid the Centurion if you didn't want to fight him. I mean, I like sweet, sweet XP, delicious nectar of the gods. So, all right, what have we got here? This definitely looks like a ship. I like how they've combined like the wood and the Dwemer stuff to give like a, a it does give a unique vibe. Go to sleep. And it looks like you got a friend. So what? So shit, so... So she took the core. So does that mean she's going to take the armor for herself? And if so, then, like, what is she going to do with it? All right. Bunch of enemies. Go away. Listen, I'm not a big fan of yours in Skyrim. Alright, there was more, wasn't there? Oh, there's spiders. Spiders. Right, is that everybody? Did we reach a dead end? No, I'm just blind. As usual. Alright, is this water. Now, I wonder if this water was here previously or not. Okay. So... Oh my 
God, I can't see this water. Is this the dead end? Alright, this appears to be a dead end, so there wasn't really that much of a reason to come here, or are we, wait, am I looking at another jumping puzzle? I think I'm looking at another jumping puzzle. I think everything is a jumping puzzle now, by the way, apparently, but there's definitely an up. And there's a lot of pipes that I immediately fall and fail on my first attempt to jump. Why are we not jumping? Seriously, I... Why? <laughs> um... I feel like I've only just begun and somehow I can't make, like, the second jump that I'm trying to make. There we go. Jesus. Um... I can't make that jump, though. Maybe not a jumping puzzle. Well, you know what I'm going to do. I don't see another place to uh, jump, so pretend I'm somehow ma super magical and wonderful at jumping, and I figured out, yeah, I mean, it for sure... But how? How was I supposed to get... From... figure out how you were supposed to actually do this. Cuz I you know, I can do it. If I can <laughs> I could do it if I was smart enough to figure out how to do it. Um You get up over here, you get up there, and then where do you go from here? There's no... I don't see any place to jump to from this one. You can't get from here to up here. But if you get up here... No, see, I don't think you get from here to over here either, so where would you go? You come over here... Maybe you could jump onto over here? And then you could go around... And then up on the here, maybe. And then up on the here, maybe. But again, these look like very difficult jumps. And then around the pipe, around the pipe. Now, see, then where would I go from here? Because now we're on this pipe. And I don't see how I'd get from this pipe to anywhere else. This giant thing is in the way. Alright, I don't get it. But yeah, once you get up here, then... Might as well take these knuckleheads out. I mean, there's dudes up here, so clearly this was... the intended way to... proceed through this room, I guess? But I really don't see how I was supposed to do that, that jumping puzzle. I feel... I feel bad. I mean, I'm not against cheating, obviously. 
if you try to follow it in reverse, this goes down to here, and then drop down here, but how, seriously, how are you supposed to get, here, I don't know. I do not know. I'm sorry. I don't see... I don't see the path. So once you get up here... There's a giant pot of money. I mean... I wasn't, like, an insane amount of money or anything, but still. So that's going to the quarters again, which we've not been in the quarters. Oh, a proper uh, dwarven chest, nice. I mean, that wasn't great, but I'll take it. Oh, four balls. Where's the next one? Where you at? Okay. So I figure, I mean, they had these whole areas in here. They're, they're, theoretically, there would be a reason for their existence. I mean, other than picking up every piece of junk, like I do. Can't get those mugs. Bummer. Ooh, some lock picking. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. I was only apprentice. I have so many gems, emeralds, and rubies, and all kinds of things. <coughs> Not sure what to do with them. It's kind of just like in Skyrim. I just end up uh, just putting them in a, a box and saving them. So this is going to lead me to the quarters. Okay. Maybe you weren't intended to go through this area this way? You're so only supposed to... I, I don't know. Still, the jumping puzzle is really irritating me. So there's the two doors. All right, I already hear somebody coming. Which way? Oh, it's a big door. It's a big boy and a little boy. Well, send your child after me. If you want to fight, do it yourself. No need to involve the children. Alright, what is that? Is that? Oh, it's just a spider? For some reason, when it was like standing up or whatever it was doing, it looked really strange to me. Okay. So we're in the quarter. So far I'm not seeing a 
anything that really scream screams quarters. A regular chest. Yay, an ice claw. This is a dead end, which is a good thing. Ooh, a wibble. I was joking about in the rim how uh, they have their their own uh, wibbles. It's like a crazy looking N for in the rim, where Enderols is. Can't even jump over that. These these uh these thingies. I'm not sure what exactly it's supposed to be. Like a a rock. Kind of looks like a, uh, a lava sperm. I don't know. It's got like a hat on. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Uh, 36 out of 100. I'm already like 20 something out of 100 in the rim. Spacious backpack. Hell, you heck. Oh. Oh no. It clipped through. That's not cool. No, no, no. That's unacceptable. Still amazes me how that still happens in Bethesda games in general. I had that issue um, when I was playing uh, Whispering Hills, like notes and things kept like falling into the ether. Okay. And then the pirate piece of kicks in. Army. Why are you going to the left of me? Okay. Goodbye. Thank you for the XP. some sort. Weird crystal. Hell yeah. Take the weird crystal. Weird crystal. I still can't get the I can't get the cups. It's right there. Stretch. Stretch. Taking all the junk. My wife uh, has much longer arms than I have. I, I know it sounds like a weird thing to say. So, like, whenever we're like trying to like, where we have to like reach to get something, I always have her come and do it because I I don't know. I got I got short arms. <laughs> she has longer legs than me too. It's it's amazing how uh, we are proportioned so drastically different. We're we're uh, essentially the same height. We're both about five. She's like five eight and a half. I'm like five nine. Why can't I pick up this cup? It's it's right there. But yes, both her legs and arms are longer than mine. I don't I don't know how that works out exactly. I didn't design human beings. All right, let's spun around in a circle. Are these supposed to be like sinks or toilets? Or is this their potty? Did I find the starlings potties? Right. Well, we haven't seen one of you since super early on. Kill animation. Let's look at noise in here. 
<laughs> this area could. Oh, what? Flame Matronox? Using flame elementals. Sorry, ladies. I forgot that you blow up, too. What angle? What kind of angle was that? All right, well, it's different enemies, at least, and they die faster than the, uh, all the dwarven robots and such. And again, I'm, I, can't, I can't reach any of this stuff. You're just taunting me, game. Oh, there's a cage. Why is there a cage? Who were they? Were they keeping the fire elementals in the cage? Seriously. There's a... Nope, not having it. Wasn't gonna do it for like a cup and stuff, but. For this many items. Yes, sir. All right, so we have both frost and fire elementals. So, and cages. So yeah, I think the starlings were, were keeping them as like pets and then since the starlings are not really around anymore they've escaped I guess or I'm just making stuff up but it sounds good all right I see another ball who's down here do we have oh more all right you guys are hanging out together crossfire baby Why, why, why you didn't want to come fight? So interesting that they don't have any of the other elementals. So they were just checking out these two. And they had, those two were hanging out together. So maybe they were trying to see if they were going to have like babies. That was nothing. Frost fire elementals or fire frost elementals. Okay. So this is the only place left to go now. And interesting, we do have a escape listed all the way up there. This area was quite large. Messing with me again, making it look like I didn't. Oh, because what? I didn't like walk all the way up to the shelf? Open up all of the map, please. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know why they would have put all this work into these other areas if they just wanted you to just come in here and then get out and not explore these other areas. That seems silly to me. Now we're hitting skeletons. Hello. Hi. Okie dokie. Alright, we got stuff busted up in here. Oh. Outside. Okay. Yep, so again, my rambling point that I was trying to make earlier is, yeah, there's always a fear that, like, I'm gonna, like, leave this area and then not be able to come back to this area. Which sometimes I fear is justified. You might be like, well, that's silly. But in the rim, something like that pretty much exactly happens. You get to this, uh, you, you know, special place. That's very bright. And, uh, then something happens and you can't go back there. Okay. Alright, this is the way that we're going to be going. 
so what's this way? Oh, more Frosty Boys. Frosty Boys. It's Killer Frost. Which, if you've never heard me say it before, then you've never watched my Killer Frost series. Because <laughs> that's how I intro. Uh, how I uh, started off every episode. Alright, that's more sexy, sexy lockpicking. Booyah! Didn't break three lockpicks this time. Ring of Arcanist. Ring of the Shadow Mage. Shadow Mage sounds really cool. Yeah, this, I was going to say, the hitbox in that pot is very off for some reason. Anything? What's in here? Snow? Okay. And... Alright, wait. So this is... This connects. Yes, it does. And there's that noise again. Alright, so that's it. We have completed this entire area. So we've been through the quarters. I know the map didn't render in completely over there. And that is going to bother me, but I'm going to do my best to just ignore it. And where are we going now? To the cargo area. We've been in the cargo area before. Right? That's where we started. Yeah, these are the doors that we had saw in the cargo area. But there was... So we've been here. Yeah. So we want to go... We've been to the crevasse. To the navigation room. We've not been to the navigation room. Now on the bright side... We've already killed everything. close this door. Well, at least it looks like we can still get there. I was worried that they might have us, again, blocked off for some reason, because they kicked us out of the other area that was flooding. How did I not... I must have got distracted. I didn't grab every little tiny thing in this room. Right, where's... Where's the... I'm blind. Maybe one day I'll be able to see... Just straight. This area is massive. Alright, does it matter at this point? I don't think so. Because we want to go right. And past this area. Now again, there might there might be very little reason to come here, but we're here, let's explore it. Alright, master. It's the master. And I have enough, thank goodness. Hooray! What's going to be in the navigation room? So it's like... Not the captain's quarters. Alright, I see a... Centurion up there, but I don't think he can even get to me. Alright, we got some green ooze. We're going to make some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Secret of the ooze. We're getting a steam facial. Always, you know, so big and you know, scary looking, but then they're s just slow as molasses. All right, so he was in this room guarding a chest. Damn it! 
Back to the scrolls. Well, they gave me a scroll right back. That's cute. Oh, I heard somebody else. We're not alone. I think we're alone now. Sorry, I was live in the 80s. Terrifying, I know. Speaking of the 80s, it's more of 70s and 80s, but still, speaking of that time, I uh, recently secured my... Where are you? Hi. My Atari. Yeah, you heard that right. What? My Atari. <laughs> from, from ironically, especially considering what I was saying earlier, my mom's basement. Never lived in a basement before, but I did store stuff in the basement because that's, I think, the normal thing to do for basements. Um, Frost wind. That's four again. Master Smith. That could be useful. No, oh, empty. And I tried to hook it up, but apparently I need uh, something extra to hook it up to a new TV. I haven't had it hooked up for about 15 years, and it worked 15 years ago. I have no idea, none, if it's going to work at all. My son is very excited and I don't really I could tell him like you need to you need to settle down a little bit. It's not it's not going to be that exciting. He's like, "But it's Pac-Man." And I was like, "Yeah, it, it, I have Pac-Man for sure." Um, but it's an Atari. Like you did, like just temper your uh, excitement because I don't know that you're going to be once you actually start doing stuff with it, <laughs> you're going to be anywhere near as excited as as you uh, think you're going to be. Just keep going. Most of these areas seem to go around in circles. So. Anybody in this room? Nope, but more chests. But disappointingly, some of the chests don't have anything. I don't, I don't really want money. But I do like stuff and things. In this big chest, it's empty. Oh, what a bummer, man! Big chest normally gets me excited. And no, I'm not talking about boobs, because remember, I'm not a boob guy. So, big chests, those have a big chest, don't don't do much for me. Alright, let's go kill that spider. Not a spider. Why did I think it was a spider? It was clearly a ball. Alright, you having a hard time passing me, Buckaroo? Butchers of Buckaroo? Adventures of Buckaroo Bonsai? Oh, there's a big boy up there. And he's steaming. This is like a boss fight. That you didn't have to do at all? <laughs> like you could have apparently. Completely ignored this. What do we got here? Levers? Levers? I can't do anything with them though. Oh, okay. This looks like a teleportation thing, or like I'm gonna get decontaminated in uh, Fallout 4. One or the other. Alright, so the green ooze appears to be important. All these chests are empty. Because they have jugs of it around here, and it's. So this is their fuel? It's 
what I feel like it's trying to tell me. Alright, boss man. You crashed the ship. You know that, right? You crashed the ship. Keep breathing your hot breath on me. Come all this way, and then, like I said, he—I I, I gather he's essentially the boss of this area, and not fight the boss. All right, he gave me a key of the Agnod's Mechanist too. Hollian's Absolution. Interesting. Selena's Rage. These are all special named Slam Jammies. All right. Can I? Can I? I was gonna say, can I drive the ship now? But we're we're stuck in a glacier, so the answer would be no. Okay. Well, I'm glad I came here. Wait, what is this? I have a key. Uh, apparently, not the key I need. What the hell did I just do? idea what I just did seriously nothing okay at least I got to flip something I just realized there's a they got like telescopes. I'm not. I'm not tall enough to look through the telescopes. But th that's cool. I like that. I like. I like all of this. This is. This. Is, this. What they've done. You know, I, and they're all great. Everybody knows that, or everybody should know that. I guess I should say. But being able to take Skyrim and use it in ways where it starts not to feel like Skyrim even though I recognize the stuff as being Skyrim it's very impressive because it, it's you know I mean I've played Skyrim for wait <laughs> way too long <laughs> 1200 hours or something ridiculous like that all right so here's my question now so this led me back to here right this led me back to all right to leaving but Where did that other door go? Oh, it would have went back to the crevasse. Yeah. It would have went and led me back through here, and then, so, either way, I'd be going, okay. Sorry, I took my pudding brain a second or two to put that all together. So we can leave. We're, we're good. We've completed, explored all the areas in here, and we are safe to leave. Oh, but I, I started to say, I was, I'm worried about you know, if I progress the main storyline as well too far that there won't be any quests. There'll be certain quests that won't be able to finish or something like that, because I've had that happen in mods that I've played before, and of course it's nighttime. Uh, Lou and I said that it's basically only the bird... Where does it want me to go now? Oh, it's just, it's just telling me to go back to him. Um, which, for sure, we can just teleport. 
I should have. Yeah, I still have three. Wibble jibble, magic floating guy. Here I come. So yeah, I want to make sure I uh, complete the bird egg quest. But the rest, I gather I don't have to worry about. Which is yay. Hey, hey, hey. I got your money, don't you worry. Say hey. Oh, hear me, path abiding citizens. All right, it's like we always go let too you easy on the scum. scum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we can't do anything at night time. I'm not gonna do inventory stuff because I try very hard not to do that, as you all well know. Hopefully, so we'll just do a quick night night. You ready to go night night? And. All right, yeah, literally quick, because we'll just do, uh, we'll do five hours. So, like, that's like a cat nap for me. All right, and then we can go inform your eye. And a little stutter from the autosave there, just like in the room. Hmm? Hmm? Need something? Who are uh -huh. you? Who are you? You're you talk from funny. Who are you? <laughs> I heard you talk. <laughs> yes? Yes, my sir. My dude. This is still better than the rim where 90% like, of the characters are just like, Go away! Or talk about me eating babies. Which I think that's like blood libel. What are you guys doing? That was that was walk blessed. Walk blessed. That was suspicious. A potion to cure red madness. Wouldn't that be something? Yes, it would actually. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Pythera's a starling. Apparently, was did not see that coming. Uh oh. Uh, he dead? I didn't do it. Y you dead, buddy? Your robot's... Your robot's missing. Uh... Okay. I kind of don't want him to be dead. Please, Pathira, this is madness! You don't know what you're doing there! Oh, believe me, I do. More than you ever did. Do you even realize how pathetic you are, Master? You... Ugh, oh, great. I knew I shouldn't have taken chances. You, by the ancient fathers, help me! Pathira, she... she controls him. You need to stop her. I think he figured that out by himself, don't you? I guess it's time to test what this thing can do. <laughs> Freaking casting a teleport spell because I didn't put my grounding back on. Dude, he stepped right in front of me. There's a death wish or something. Alright, but there I killed like five or six of these in the. Uh... Okay, well, that was. That was disappointing. That was that was. Where is he? Oh, he's 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 all in the corner. That was disappointing. I don't know. I just thought she'd have a better plan than that. By the stars, this was bloody unnecessary. Why did she do that? I just don't get it. I tell you, Rye, the events in Agnog, long story. She thought you would waste the machine's potential. What happened to Pythera? Is she dead? I electrocuted her to death. Dead? No, but inactive. Her consciousness is still linked to Horst, his soul, if you will. She did it. 
She actually did it. Foolish girl. She always was too impulsive. Lead our people back to glory? By the stars, how stupid can a person be? We are starlings, damn it, not bloody imperialists. We live to quest, to fulfill the prophecies, not to... You see, this is what happens when a juvenile zeal meets powerful technology. She was always snappy, but I really didn't see that coming. Anyway, I suppose I have to do it all again. Disassemble Horst, retrieve his consciousness core, and then put him back together. Then I'll think about what to do with Pathira. Maybe I'll transfer her into something else. I've always wanted a talking paperweight. Just a joke. But you will transfer her consciousness back to her body again, won't you? I, she's a pile of dust. I made her, I made her a, a, pile, a pile of dust. Of course, I'm not a murderer, but when that time comes, I will make sure to have a dozen guards beside me. She can look forward to some nice months in prison, and then she can go look for another master. Stupid girl. So much potential wasted. Heh. <laughs> but, save for the drama, you did a good job. I now have all that I need, and Pathira proved that the transfer, the apotheosis, is possible. In that regard, Thank you. You will get your reward and Pathira's share of it, too. Here, take this key. Back in the lobby, you'll find a small casket right beside the fireplace. What's in there is yours. Again, thank you. Okay. So... Um... Again, I'm showing my, my lack of uh, understanding the lore and such. I just... He's got Butcher for Arc Volume 3. What the... <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Uh, my lack of understanding the lore in the game, because he said he's a Starling too. So apparently the Starlings are still around. I'm sure Mrs. Voice and or others will chime in and tell me that I already <laughs> that I already know that, or that I probably should already know that. And I'm I'm sorry. Um, I I don't know. I was not. A, I I'm. I thought. I don't know. Again, they look like a Turna, or at least what I think of a Turna, based on the way that a Turna look in the rim. 801 coins. Damn! Okay. Well, thanks for that. Alright, so we are back in the rim. So, I keep saying the rim. Why is... Why? 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 Why do I have no rim on the brain so badly? Ark. We are back in Ark. So, we can... Um, we'll, we'll turn this in real quick. Because I want to get the new bounty. An obelus, my sir? Oh my god, you should be rich oh, by now. thank you. You truly are a good person. I'll sell you Teresa Manor. I mean, you, got, you probably have enough coins to buy it from me at this point with the amount of coins <clears> that I've given you. <laughs> this is the smooth jam, as I always describe it, that is in the rim. The rim, there's an issue with, with uh, audio. I don't know specifically in relation to the music part of audio. Is it keeps resetting itself so that way the music's not playing. So I didn't even know that this song was in the rim until like just a couple episodes ago because I kept having to go... Hear my words, oh, hear my words, oh pass them by me for they always Please go, go too easy on this guy. Oh my god. Alright, what's next? Apple. The Wild Mage. Gargantua. Gagantua? Gargantua. I don't know. <laughs> it's hiding at a slope of the Flost. Flost? 
Frostcliffed Mountains. She is devoted to Elemental Summoning, a former pupil of Fire Spark. There are 570 Enderlayan pennies issued for her death. It's climb and fish and well, seek the freshest fruits right from the farmer's coast and Doomville. Why no, come when seeking in storm the palace of the gold. Please, I'll hide in the corner, please. <laughs> Stop talking all at once. All right. So we will do that, but we are here, so we might as well um, go to uh, Dijam. I'll turn this off for now. Right, unfortunately, we have to run through here again. Try to do it as quick as we can. Why do you have to be singing? Uh, Brenny, please stop singing. Please. Dear God. This episode is not sponsored by anything, and I'll probably never have a sponsored episode. <laughs> uh, but yes, it's definitely not sponsored by Pepsi. Pepsi Zero, not as good as it used to. Hi, oh you just don't get any younger. No. Uh, what don't. greetings? Greetings. Yes. Alright, so she's in the bar. Again, just take a minute to appreciate. I, and I know it's much darker. Oh, come on. Not again. Not again, what? Yeah. What's happening? Hello. I have a I have a house. I guess there's no adopting in this. You don't have to live down here with the flesh maggots and other things. I I know I think you have parents down here, but still, I'll uh, adopt you. That's a nice white beard you got there, Santa. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So Jam the letter. I had a look at this hideout. I think you should see this. A letter. Sarastra Dooley. I I don't know what to say. There were also two protectors in the cave who tried to kill me. One of them got away despite my best attempts to not let him. <sighs> Sodding bastards. But that also means they know that we know. Shit. What do we do now? Murder! Yes, that's it. Meet me in front of the trading post. 20 minutes sharp. <sighs> I like how I said murder and she was like, yes, that's it. Like she heard me. What are you planning to do? <laughs> Something they won't expect. Now that Deloren knows that we could expose him, he'll make a move to dispose of us soon. I'm sure of that. And I do not intend to let that happen. All right then, the trading post, 20 minutes. Perfect. And be careful, okay? He might have already set his bloodhounds onto our trail. What are you doing here? Go ogle someone else. Their bodies are decaying. Their minds are full of hate. Work, work, work. All right, so I'm going to get jumped. Is that what's what you was telling me? You sure you don't want to come live with me? Hello. No? Okay. I mean, there's literally rats running around at your feet, but okay. And it leads right into the pits. Hear me! Right into the pits! <laughs> right into the pits. You got it. Right into the armpits. What? Oh my god, the order is always Reset. shockingly loud. That's not right. <laughs> now I know who's going to attack me. I'm ready. Let's do it.
bashing with a shield of weapons staggers your enemies. Attacking with two weapons doubles your damage, but also takes away your ability to block. Miracle that must have been due to its sheer force. Some shifts huh? never end. Can I help you? Uh. Okay. They just sit on their asses and I gotta put the little ran first. Who's a good really old ran? Who's a good boy? You's a good boy, yeah? You's a good boy. Better not be hurting my girlfriend. Again, no one leaves this building until we have our money back. No one! You're making a mistake, wench. I hope you know that. Watch your tongue, boy. I'm sick of listening to you and your master's profanities. There you are. Sorry for starting this without you. You? Yes, him. What a surprise, isn't it? You should be ashamed. Is that so? And what for exactly? For having the spark of decency you end relay and scum all seem to be lacking? What are you hoping to accomplish with this, Jam? Are you holding them hostage? I don't think- I think everyone should calm down. DeLorean is behind us, not these workers. Yeah. I mean... She's not gonna like that though, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna say I think everyone should come. She's probably not gonna like any of these things. I am calm. I am so sick of you people and your complete lack of respect. Until we have our money and the idol back, and your master is on his knees before me, begging us to forgive him, no one will leave this building without my explicit permission. At least not in one piece. Um, Maybe that will teach that scumbag a lesson. <laughs> This is a mistake. When push comes to shove, the guards will simply storm this place and we're outnumbered. We both uh, know neither of those things you just said will happen. DeLorean would rather kill himself than apologize to you. Um. Maybe. But I will not wait for DeLorean's petrified pets to come cut our throats. I've had enough. I'm leaving. One step further and you can pick your guts up off the ground. Uh-oh. I mean it. Um. No. Put that away. Now! Uh-oh. No. Are you deaf? Uh -oh. Put that away! Please, my sir, don't force me to- Oh, damn. Okay, I tried to step in front. Sir, Oh, no. Um. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Okay, I have to get involved, I guess. Um, I don't really want. I don't know that she needs my help. She seems to be doing fine on her own. Okay, I didn't do anything. Oh shit, 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 shit! That's one way to put it. Amazing plan you had there, really. <laughs> it was that guy's fault, damn it! He wanted it to happen, he provoked me. He wanted to kill me, for fuck's sake. We... we need to get out of here. Now. Where to? Away from the city. Anywhere. At least for me. Except for the people here. No one should know that you're involved. <sighs> Alright. Alright. How do we do this? We can't go through the front door. We can't let anyone see us. There must be another way. Come on. Let's search this place. Okay. Well. I... Wasn't specifically expecting there to be a bunch of murder. That wasn't I'm getting lots of surprises this episode. That's not 
Not where I thought this was going. I'll take his amulet. Okay, nobody else had anything worth anything. How about had Mr. Headless over here? Um What is that? A trap door? Hmm. Yes, that looks good. Let's go. Okay. Awesome. Going into the crypt. Meet the crypt keeper. I mean, I have two houses in this town. I really... Oh, hi. I don't really want to, uh... Haven't I already killed everything down here? I guess it respawned. Um, hey, what's up? Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Well, you, you try to take over a place like, oh, look at that. Ugh. Just a bunch of bodies. All right, so it looks like stuff. Some of the potions and things have also respawned. I don't need to pick up everything. Um... Alright, so it's got a quest marker on her, and then a quest marker for where we're supposed to be going. Now, I've been here, so we, again, we should have the map. Alright, so we're not that far away. Alright, that should be fine. Boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, this should be... Oh, no. Okay. Hi. After the other... Th after the things that I've been fighting, these guys seem, uh... Super easy. Yeah, this looks like it should be boom, boom, boom. You're not gonna come alive, right? Wait, what? not this is not right <laughs> I think I guess I'm supposed to be upstairs from where I am Yeah, so it's definitely up. Okay. So I have to remember how to go up, which I definitely don't remember how to do. Awesome. All right. Stairs up. Was that lost one taunting me? Like I said, we've already been through here, so... But I don't... Of course, I don't remember how to go up. Why would I... Why would I remember that? Oh, we found it. Alright, I'm gonna drop... I don't know. <laughs> drop a save? I guess? Alright, let's see what happens. But we're literally coming up into the barrack quarters where the soldiers are. So this should be... I don't know. I don't know if this is the best idea. Kind of 
kind of feel like it's not the best idea. Then Wait. keep looking. She can't be far. Understood, Commander. What do you want us to do when we have her? Get her into the prison, and then find out where she took Dalaran. He can't be far out of the city yet. What? Understood. Damn it. I don't think we can go through here. We could fight. There has to be some secret way out of the city. Maybe you should turn yourself in. What was it the commander said about you knowing where Dal Dalaran is? Honestly, I have no idea. But truth be told, right now I don't care much about that either. Um, it, I don't want to fight. There might be, but that doesn't change the fact that we can't make it out of this damn graveyard without those guards seeing us. I... There's no point. I have to turn myself in. You just heard them. They'll throw me into prison. Maybe that's our chance. You should go back to the crypt and wait for them to leave with me. Then you have to find a way to get me out of jail before they hang me. <laughs> hang me. You could easily forget that originally we only came here to do business. <sighs> Saras Jodhuli. I hate this country. So you want me to bust you out? How exactly am I supposed to do that? I don't know, damn it. Think of something. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... It's just a lot to take in. All of this. <laughs> Stupid as it may sound, I'm glad we're in this together. Now go back to the crypt, and then lay low for a while. Okay, I mean, you did murder all those people. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna live in the crypt now? I'm not super happy about that. Alright, so what is it? What's it telling me to do now? Alright, so now it's giving me another. Yeah, see, I already knew that was there. So why couldn't I have taken her up through the corpse pit? Are we fighting? I'll take the XP. You guys don't have a ton, but I don't think I need bone meal anymore either. What's up? I'm picking locks? What the heck? Oh! We're failing to pick locks. Two doing? Hanging out? Were you talking about uh, TV shows? Talking about how good the Fallout uh, TV show series is? I wonder if I had tried to take her this way. Well, I hear what sounds like more enemies, but yeah, what if I tried to take her this way? 
to be a skip the breaking out of prison part. Because again, if I, I feel like if I caught on a fence, I feel like if I'm breaking her out of prison, then again, people are going to see me breaking her out of prison. Thus far, I've managed to not uh, be involved in this situation. I mean, in regards to I, them knowing that I'm uh, helping her. It's weird that the loads are just black boxes now. They're not it's concerning me a little bit. Are we going to have a crash crash? Move along. That's nasty. Okay, we have to get back to doing uh, Theriel's quest as well. But I keep saying we're going to get to the main quest, but <laughs> somehow. Mm, now, where did I put that? I don't know. I saw something. On the screen for a second. Well, what the heck was that? In the last penny you there it was again. Point. I don't even see the hanging moss. My sir. My sir. You said that very seriously. Hazel. Ah, there you are. Had any luck? All right, so Aluin had said I should tell him the truth. So since we're passing by him for Aluin, I will do that. I feared as much, and why? Please, there has to be a reason. One that explains it all. Your grandfather was a poor alchemist and wanted to impress that noble woman. He thought that causing the plague and then curing it would win her favor. And if I'm telling the truth, I might as well tell all the truth. What? That? By the name of the sun? I can't believe it. What? <laughs> what about the rest? Did you find any samples? If there is any chance I can free the Hazels from the shame my grandfather caused, I have to take it. I can cure the plague. I just know it. I applaud your intentions, but experimenting with those mushrooms here in Ark is dangerous. Very dangerous. Only if they were being handled by a fool. Which I am not. Please. I can imagine how this sounds to you. But I know what I am doing. If you don't give me the samples, there's no way I can atone. Too late for that. I gave the samples to the apothecary. Apothecary. Sorry. What? But we had an agreement. <sighs> I see. You're one of those people who think they know what's best for others, aren't you? But fine, I'm an old man, and I'm certainly not looking for quarrel. Despite all that, you made the journey and I'm a man of my word. Here's your pay. Now go, let the Black Guardian take you. I mean, you can, you can have the 25 coins back. Let the Black Guardian take you. Okay, I guess that's like let the Black Guardian take your way of telling me to go to hell. I guess. Okay, you can have your twenty-five coins back. What? <sighs> Flank it. Right. No. Well, I mean, maybe don't just run up and start choppy chopping me right in the face. Oh shit! Excuse me. <laughs> Seriously now. Yeah, 
right, now we got the pictures back. It, it like heard me <laughs> worrying about the black screens. So it's like, here, here's some pictures and words back. A penny, my sir. Oh, dude, you should Please, the just one penny. I... Thank you. That's really generous. May his light guide you. I don't know. The other guy wants the Black Guardian to take me. Okay. Where is it telling me to go? <clears throat> All right. We're not. We're not doing that just, just yet. <clears throat> Figured I'll go back to my house and we'll, we can wrap the episode up there. I feel like we got some good stuff done. We completed a whole quest line. I don't know how much longer this goes on for. Um, I think what we will do is we'll try to finish next episode. Da, da, uh, yeah, it's not as if I didn't tell them that already. Uh, the Jams storyline. Or, you know, at least bust her out of prison. And then we will finally go and let uh, Aaron Thiel tell us what's up. If there's... I mean, we could take a quick look. If there's anything else that I should do before that, uh, please let me know. Yeah, this is what I was going to do. Now, if that affects any of these other quests for any reasons... Please let me know. But that that's what the plan for the next episode is. To finish up Scorpion and the Lion. And then... To jump to this. With all that being said, this has been Enderol Forgotten Stories. I am Loki the Mad Titan. I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Eterna. Oops. That's the rims. Goodbye and good night, Pathless. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe or I'll send lost ones to your house to eat all your chicken nuggets. Have a good night. See ya.